can this thing play Game Boy games? Well, obviously not Game Boy Advance games, but it can possibly play games made for this, the Game Boy Color. In today's video, we're going to be seeing if it can play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Okay, this method of data transfer doesn't seem to work. Let's bring out our USB cable and plug that into our calculator. Plug that into our keyboard and let's get started with some games. We're going to be using the GB68K emulator. We're going to use a simple run command that'll convert the Zelda ROM into files that will run on the TI-89. And that's finished successfully. The TI-89 Titanium has a Motorola 68K processor, which is the same processor used in the original Macintosh computer. I originally wanted to do this video on Street Fighter 2 and fighting games in general, but as you can see here, it was just a garbled mess on the emulator. The first game we have is Miner, which is apparently a simplified clone of Minecraft. Alright, let's boot Minecraft up for the first time. Get into the game. Okay, so it's kind of like a 2D game, sort of like Terraria. Let's see if we can dig something, you know, maybe dig into the ground. Oh wait, what? I'm flying now? I guess this is like creative mode, you know, creative mode in Minecraft, because I'm able to fly up and down. I don't think I can fly very high, but... Alright, so I think I figured out how to destroy blocks. You just have to click it multiple times. And something that I always like to do on Minecraft is to just dig as deep as possible into the earth. And I just want to see how deep I can actually go on this game. Okay, so it seems that I actually can't fly. It was just a glitch in the game, and now I can't get out of this hole. So that was Minecraft. Alright, second game that we have is Gun Dealer, where we apparently are a gun dealer. Alright, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so let's start our new game. Press any key to stop. To stop what? I don't believe in handicapping myself, so I will be choosing easy mode. Okay, so let's try taking a plane, maybe, you know, that seems pretty logical. What just happened? Alright, let's try playing the original Legend of Zelda game from 1986 on this thing. So let's try booting that up and see how it goes. Okay, that's a very nice start screen actually. It looks really cool. Okay, we're at the character select or something. That's actually pretty interesting. Is that in the original game, guys? Alright, movement pretty standard. Did he just throw a banana? Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. So I'm assuming that these things are enemies, and I can't seem to hit them with my boomerang or whatever that is. So let's try going to a different part of the map. Okay, so it seems that I can't hit the enemies with my banana, so I'll have to figure something else out. Okay, I'll try going into this cave and see how that goes. Buy something, will ya? It's a shop. Okay, I can't believe I missed this cave at the very start. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, so that's where that comes from. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. Alright, so it seems like we got a little sword now. On top of our boomerang. So, I'm just trying to find something to do here. I think that there should be some marker or something somewhere. What about this little ladder here? It's a secret to everybody. What is a secret? Alright, so let's cross this big bridge and go into this tree here. Alright, so it's uh, kind of a labyrinth or a maze. Interestingly, there doesn't seem to be any enemies here at all. It's just a big maze. And I'm just going to be going to the entrance that seems the most appropriate or whatever but there really aren't many ways to go really and try opening this store up and see how that goes oh wow so that must be a fragment of the triforce or something i can't believe that only took two minutes wait the game didn't end right we need to reset the entire operating system of the calculator to have enough memory for the game. Alright, we've installed the emulator. Run this command to free up more memory on the device. 
All right, so moment of truth, guys. We're going to be seeing if Link's Awakening works on this calculator. All right, and the cinematic is running. It looks great, actually. This is、uh, really impressive for how poor the TI 89 titanium screen usually looks. This is the best I've ever seen it look. And one thing to note about the TI 89 titanium screen is that it has quite a lot less pixels in the height area than a Game Boy Color. So, we have to use the divide and multiply symbols in order to move up and down on the screen, as you can see here. All right, let's enter our name and get into the game. All right, so I just realized that this is a German version of the game. And after repeating the same process again for the third time, I finally managed to get the English version of the game onto the calculator. The text is running a lot smoother than Pokemon, my last video. And an interesting thing about the AI is that the woman actually turns to face you, which is quite impressive for a game from 1993. All right, and we got our shield back. And look how proud he is of getting his shield back. Oh. All right, so we're going to be seeing if he can,、uh, you know, maybe even beat this chicken up with his. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't kill the chicken. So, is that、uh, thing supposed to be an enemy? Because I'm actually very confused right here. It doesn't seem to be doing damage to me. So, so one slightly annoying thing about the screen is that I have to keep doing this to see things. Mysterious forest. It's a little bit mysterious. All right, so it seems that I, I can't go into the mysterious forest yet. I don't like that this guy keeps calling me his little buddy. He also wants to charge me 10 rupees to fish.、Uh, I don't know. All right, so this is like a pet, and that's like a smaller version of the thing that was outside. That's pretty funny. So I'm looking at my Nintendo Power magazine, and it's telling me that I need to go here. So I think that these things are actually enemies, but I don't have a weapon that I can use to kill them. I am walking extremely slowly inside the water. All right, so I think that's my sword. Whoa, what's that thing? An owl? All right, I finally got my sword back. And that's a pretty cool little animation that he's doing. Okay, so it's time to kill some monsters now. Need to get the hang of using this thing. Okay, and I think I got the hang of using this thing, so. Let's just、uh, go back to the mysterious forest because that's apparently where we need to go. And we can use our sword to cut that bush down now. All right, so this owl is back. This game is actually reminding me quite a bit of Chrono Trigger. Not in terms of gameplay, of course, but graphically quite similar. All right, so far we've met a talking owl, and now we've met a talking raccoon. So, the game is going pretty well, I guess. In terms of performance, the TI 89 is running the game very admirably. It's not as smooth as the original hardware, but I would say it's definitely playable, which can't be said about the game in my previous video, Pokemon Red, which was practically unplayable because of the extremely slow animations of both text and battles. In contrast, there's no significant input or text delay for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. The combat in this game is pretty straightforward, it seems. You just、uh, hit the enemy with your sword and they try to hit you back. And、uh, most of these enemies are only dying in one or two hits at the moment, but I assume they'll get a lot harder. Okay, so there's actually some collision of the swords, so it's not as simple as I believed. So, I'm assuming that this guy is kind of a mini boss or something like that because he seems to have a lot better AI than the other enemies. Okay, and I got him down. All right, so my ultimate verdict for this game on the TI 89 is that it runs really well. You can definitely finish the game on this device. And it's actually kind of crazy that this is one of the calculators allowed on the SAT, and you could be playing this game the entire time, although I obviously wouldn't recommend that. But I can recommend playing this game on your calculator. If you liked my video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more.